Hello everyone and welcome to Barca News. It's November 20th, 2022 and Dortmund's right back Thomas Mounier has offered himself to Barcelona. Also, Bernardo Silva has sent an ultimatum to the club and it's reported that Barcelona are considering the sale of the Moroccan striker Abde. We have a lot to discuss, so let's begin. Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Mo and we'll begin with the news that the 2022 Qatar World Cup has officially began today with an uh, entertaining opening ceremony followed by the opening match between the host nation of Qatar versus the South American nation of Ecuador. Now Ecuador cruised to an easy victory against the host nation 0-2 and there was some controversy surrounding this match when Ecuador's first goal was disallowed by the VAR due to an offside play. Now this referee called unleashed a storm of debate on social media where many people were claiming that Qatar had paid off the referees in order to win the opening match. However, this was very far from the truth as the referees applied the correct rule and the VAR made the correct decision and disallowed in this goal. Now even though there was a Qatari defender behind the ball, many people assumed that this made the play an onside play. However, the, goal, the Qatari goalkeeper had come off his line and he was in front of the ball which meant that the Qatari defender took the place of the goalkeeper. So there needed to be a second Qatari player behind the ball in order to make this play an onside play. Now it seemed that many people were un unaware of this football rule and as a result they assumed that Qatar had paid off the referees um, to, to rule in their favor. However, I would like to remind everyone that just because you are unaware of a football rule, it does not mean that the referees have been paid off. It just means that you need to improve your knowledge of the laws governing football. Now as I mentioned previously, I will be conducting a special coverage of this World Cup where I'm going to be following all the Barcelona players and the nation that they're currently representing. And tomorrow, the first Barcelona players are going to play when Frankie de Jong and Memphis Depay, who are representing the Netherlands, are going to be playing in the match against Senegal. Now, as I reported previously, Spain's coach Luis Enrique decided to replace the injured Jose Luis, Ga Jose Luis Gaia with Alejandro Balde. And with this, Barcelona now have 17 players currently playing in the World Cup. Now, Bayern Munich also had 17 players in the World Cup. However, Sadio Mane was injured and he has uh, left the international competition. So as a result, they have dropped the 16 players with the World Cup, with Barcelona being the only club uh, with 17 players in the international competition. Now this not only means that Barcelona is the club with the most players in the World Cup, they have also set a historical record where they are the first club in history to send that many players to the international competition. Now this figure does not include the Barcelona players who are currently on loan and are currently playing in the World Cup, such as Serginho Des who is currently on loan with AC Milan and is representing the United States of America or Abde who's currently on loan with Osasuna and is representing the nation of Morocco. Now this is a great feat for Barcelona and it goes to show how many quality players Xavi currently has on his squad. Now on to the news that Dortmund's right back Thomas Mounier has offered himself to Barcelona. Now as I reported previously Barcelona are currently in the market to try to reinforce the right back position given that neither Xavi or Barcelona are currently, uh, are currently impressed by Hector Bellerin. Now as a result Dortmund's right back Thomas Mounier has told his agent that if there's any chance of him moving to Barcelona to make sure to make that move happen. Now Barcelona attempted to sign Thomas Mounier this past summer transfer market and, and previous markets as well. However, Dortmund did not allow the Belgian player to leave and it was Thomas Mounier himself who confirmed that Dortmund had approached him and informed him of Barcelona's interest but that they were sorry and that they weren't going to able to allow him to leave prior to the expiration of, of his contract in the summer of 2024. Now speaking of right backs, it's reported that Real Madrid have joined the race for the French defender Benjamin Pavard. Now as I reported previously, the 26 year old World Cup winner's contract with Bayern Munich will expire in the summer of 2024 and it's reported that Benjamin Pavard does no longer want, uh, no longer wishes to continue with Bayern Munich and as a result he offered himself to Barcelona through his agent. Well, it's now reported that Real Madrid have also joined the race for the French defender who has stated through his representative that he no longer wants to play in the right back position and that he wants to play as a central defender. Now on to the news that Sevilla has withdrawn from the race for the Dutch forward Memphis Depay. Now as I reported previously, Barcelona are looking to offload Memphis Depay in the winter transfer market in order to clear some space on their wage bill for the incoming new signings. And it's also reported that Memphis Depay is keen on leaving Barcelona because he no longer wants a secondary role on the squad. 
Now, as a result, Tabia were interested in signing Memphis Depay as they were this past summer transfer market. However, the Spanish team has decided to withdraw from the race because of the salary demands of the player and because Memphis Depay has other priorities over joining Sevilla. Now, it's reported that, that Memphis Depay and his agent are looking to go to the Premier League with Manchester United, Chelsea and Tottenham all interested in the player and awaiting the performance of the player in the World Cup. Now it's reported that, uh, that Memphis Depay wants to leave Barcelona as a free agent. However, Barcelona are keen on making some cash of the sale of the player given that he has a good market value and given that his market value could increase if he performs well during the 2022 Qatar World Cup. Now it's also reported that Barcelona could allow Memphis Depay to leave for free because they're looking to clear space on their waste bill for the incoming new signings. And it's also reported that Barcelona could agree on a different form of compensation such as a discount on a future player from the club where Memphis Depay will end up. Now another player that could be leaving in the winter transfer market is the French defender Samuel Umtiti. Now Umtiti is currently on a one year loan with the Italian team Lecce and it's reported that the French defender is willing to sit down with Barcelona to try to negotiate an amicable uh, solution to his situation and reach a rescission of his contract. Now Umtiti has been doing pretty well with Lecce this season where he's been getting a lot of playing time and he's feeling very good physically and it's reported that the player thinks that he, he that if he continues his good performance that he could get some good offers from other teams and that he thinks that he could get even better offers if he rescinds his contract with Barcelona so he has reportedly communicated to Barcelona that he wants to sit down with them to rescind his contract and even he's and he's even willing to forgive some money that the club currently owe him now Barcelona are in favor of this deal because it would mean that they would clear more space on their wage bill so they can make new signings such as the right back position and reinforcing the midfield now Speaking of the midfield, it's reported that Bernardo Silva has given Barcelona an ultimatum. Now, Bernardo Silva is Xavi's dream signing to reinforce the midfield, and Barcelona attempted to sign the Portuguese midfielder over the summer, but they were unable to do so mainly due to economic reasons. Now, Barcelona have not given up on the signing of the Portuguese midfielder, and his contract expired with Manchester City in 2025, and it's reported that Pep Guardiola wants to keep the player on his squad, and as a result, the Premier League club has offered Bernardo Silva a contract renewal. Now, Bernardo Silva has reportedly given Barcelona an ultimate him and told him that if they want to sign him to let him know for sure and if not he will be renewing his contract with Manchester City. Now, Barcelona have reportedly told the player to wait for them a few more months because it, because they were trying to sign him over the winter transfer market but Barcelona have realized that, that will be economically difficult so they have made the priority uh, the right back position however with the departure of Gerard Piquet and with the eminent departure of Sergio Busquets in the summer of 2023 Barcelona think that they're going to have more economical flexibility in the summer and that's when they're going to be able to sign the Portuguese midfielder. Now speaking of Sergio Busquets, it's reported that the player had considered leaving Barcelona in uh, this winter with everything that was happening in the club and after having conversations with Gerard Piquet. Now it seems that Xabi convinced Sergio Busquets to stay in the club at the end of the season. So this is a definite indication that Sergio Busquets will be leaving Barcelona once his contract expires in the summer of 2023. Now on to the news that Barcelona are currently considering the sale of the Moroccan player Abde. Now Abde is currently on a one year loan with Osasuna and he's been doing pretty well this season and as a result there are several European clubs interested in the young player including clubs in the Bundesliga and in the Premier League. Now if Abde has a pretty good performance with Morocco in this World Cup his value could go up even more which could mean higher offers for, from those interested clubs. To Barcelona. Now given Barcelona's economic situation and their need to uh, clear space on their wage bill for the incoming new signings, Barcelona are now considering the sale of Abde. However, it's reported that they will only be willing to sell him if they can include an option to buy back in his contract. Now speaking of the World Cup, it's reported that there's some concern in the Barcelona offices uh, in regards to Uruguay playing Ronald Araujo before he is ready. Now as I reported previously, Uruguay called up Ronald Araujo to the World Cup and Barcelona allowed him to travel to Qatar even though he's still recovering from the surgery that he had on his hamstring muscle back in September. Now a Barcelona physical therapist has traveled with Ronald Araujo to, to supervise and monitor his recovery. However, Barcelona are now worried that Uruguay could be playing the player before he is ready because even though the Barcelona physical therapist is there to supervise the recovery, he doesn't have a say on whether the player gets the green light to play any matches. 
Now Barcelona do have an agreement in place with Uruguay where the, with Ronald Araujo is not going to play any of the group stage matches and the club are confident that the player will make the right decision and that he won't decide to play if he is not ready because Ronald Araujo is very young and he still has a very long uh, career ahead of him with many World Cups to come. Now speaking of the World Cup, Karim Benzema has had to abandon the international competition after he suffered an injury during practice. Now as a result, it's reported that Osman Dembele could start for the French side and this will be the French striker's uh, opportunity to showcase his talent on the biggest stage of football. Now on to the news that the Dortmund sensation Yusuf Mokoko remains undecided in regards to his future. Now as I reported previously, Yusuf Mokoku is a 17 year old striker who currently plays for Dortmund and he has become one of the most coveted players in the world as he's considered one of the biggest promising young talents in all of Europe. Now Yusuf Mokoku's contract with Dortmund will expire in the summer of 2023 and as a result all the major European clubs are currently monitoring the situation of the player. Now Yusuf Mokoku just gave recent statements where he has said that he has not made any decision in regards to his future on whether to renew with Dortmund or go to another club and that once he does he will let everyone know. Now speaking of young promising talents, Hendrik's father has has stated that the only club to have made serious inquiries and serious moves to sign up Palmeira striker is the Parisian side PSG. Now we will end today's video with two brief updates. The first one is that the Barcelona family are continuing their absolute dominance in the women's league after beating Alaves 8-0 and with this victory the Barcelona family have won 9 out of the 9 matches in the women's league. Now the second update is the Barca Athletic have returned to their winning ways and they have defeated Athletic Club 2-0 and this is the second victory in a row for Rafa Marquez's men. So that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a like. Also, I would like to invite all of you to please leave a comment down below giving me all your thoughts and opinions about all the news that I share with you. And finally, I would like to invite all of you to please subscribe to the channel so you can stay current on all the latest news in regards to our beloved club, FC Barcelona. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. And as always, peace, Barça.